Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. No pun today because I figured that peer-to-peer -peer file sharing thing was... That, 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 that was enough for like a, a few days because holy crap that was that was really bad of me but last time we visited fire mountain to get the power bracelets and um we got a treasure chart from dragon roost the uh, cavern and we um got a tingle statue and we got the hurricane spin just a Part where random things transpired but today we are going to actually do something relevant to the plot well actually getting the power bracelets was relevant but you know, I don't really count that even though I should all right but now we got the power bracelets and scaring the crabs we can pick this up didn't even let the sound continue playing or finish playing rather all right, let's check this, and I am so glad to have a song screen on the gamepad when I pull up the Wind Waker because I could never remember these songs by heart. Too many things. Oh, whatever. Appear to be marked to indicate specific directions. All right, so you have that six. You learned the Earth God's lyric. Yay! And yes, everybody, that is Azora. I like their Wind Waker design. It's, it's nice. Too bad they're all extinct and were replaced by the Rito tribe. Oh, great hero chosen by the Master Sword. My name is Laruto. I guess she's related to Princess Rudo in some fashion. Well, I guess that makes sense. She could be a descendant. I'm Azora Sage. For an age, I offer my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately due to Gandor's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost this power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Gandorf was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in a red wrath. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must first find another to take my stead in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one that carries on my bloodline, the one who holds this sacred instrument. Who do we know who has a harp? Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations, but the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years. It survives. The song you just conducted is one that will open the eyes of the new sage and awaken within the sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. There's a double entendre in there somewhere, but I don't feel like putting forth the effort to mm, figure it out. But all right, so we need to find someone who carries on the the Zora. I, I keep getting my species mixed up. The Zora bloodline who has a harp. Well, since I kind of already spoiled that, um, well, I mean, I, I, actually, I think Fishman told me if I'm if I'm not mistaken, but. Yeah, since we know that the Rito are descendants of Zoras, we just need to find a Rito that has a harp. Oh boy. Also, why am I sailing there normally? It's kind of a long trek. Oh yeah, that's right, to pad out the episode. Okay. I guess I can do something along the way. I guess that's my main point for doing this. If I pass by something interesting, we'll we'll stop. We'll we'll go there. We'll we'll go there and you know just check things out. Like maybe this island over here. Or uh, should I save this for later? Army feels like I should save this for later, but since I'm already here, I mean, you know, 
what 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 does it hurt? Wait, is this no 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 swift sail? Okay, wow, you're you're a little too swift for me, a little too swift. Fine, we'll do this now, I guess. Wanted to save it, but mm, eh. what you gonna do? And because I'm lazy and don't feel like going into my uh, inventory to get um, different arrows, I'm just going to do that. Or not different arrows, but get the bombs. Also, where are you at, Blue Choo Choo? Oh, really? One doesn't show? Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, I should get the boomerang out, I guess. All right, come on, Chew. And yeah, we can get some blue Chew jelly for our troubles. Oh, boy. All right, let's go talk to this here great fairy. I'm going to have to remember I came here. All right, young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. You can now carry more bombs. Now you can bring a maximum of 60 with you wherever you go. That doesn't even... You don't need 60. You, you really don't. Like, it's just... It makes bombs a total non-factor right now. But wait till you get 99. And that's like, especially like... When am I ever going to use all these bombs? Also, I'm a freaking moron because I did not get elixir soup from Granny while I was there. Oh, man. Oh, well, I'm going to have another opportunity to get some, so all is not lost. All is not lost. Also, do I want to go over to those little towers right now? Eh, why the H-E-L-L -L not? Wait, can I even... Actually, I don't think I have what I need for those towers just yet. I mean, I can go to two of them, of course. Oh, wait a minute! No, I'm, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm being dumb. I'm being dumb. Because I forgot, I can just change the wind direction and soar with my Deku Leaf. Alright, yeah, let, let, let's do some of that. Let's, let's take care of these. Why not? Also, I can use my cannon to get rid of their little side cannons, but lazy. I am lazy. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, Link. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, hurry up, Link. Hurry up. Hurry up. Damn it. All right, we got some... Telescope, Bokoblins. They are very easy to deal with. Wow. I was expecting a little more, but no, it just seemed like they fell asleep and then just didn't even give a damn about what was going on. Okay. And of course, the wind isn't blowing in a direction that's beneficial for me in like any way. So I guess I'm going to have to change the wind direction. Does my laziness know any bounds, folks? No, it does not. Oh, crap. Okay, well, wow, that was close. Oh, okay, that's how you attack. You you just try to kick me, okay. I was like, because I know you don't try to hit me with your flimsy-ass telescopes. That skull face looks so weird from this perspective. It just did. 
Ah, crap. Uh, this direction? No, that's wrong. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. Have I had to use the Deku Leaf in a minute? Eh, I'll do that. Why not? Okay, wow. They are getting kind of uh, bold with these uh, cannons. Wow. Okay. Wow, that was actually kind of tense. Oh, okay, maybe I should kill the cannons. Maybe I should. And maybe I should have jacked them for their power, I mean, not power braces, their joy pendants. Okay, yeah, this is getting hectic. Uh, come on, Kingy, we, we got some cannons we need to destroy. And now I can actually aim at them. Pretty amazing. Oh. Come on. I'm not moving from this spot. Maybe I should. Okay. There's only a few more. Oh wait, there's one on that side. Was I able to snipe it? Ah, crap. There we go. Oh yeah, cause getting all of them on each one unlocks. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's just get this over with. Crap, I might have to move. Okay. Hopefully all three of them appear on that one, uh, I don't even know what these are. That is the wrong button. Seriously, what, what are these things? Just pirate platforms? With lack of a better term? I don't know. Fine, I will play your game, game. I will get closer. game not allowing me to be lazy Psst. the nerve of this game wait that's all of them for right here so it's only two or has something gone awry Oh, I think that was actually all three. I am wasting a lot of time in this area. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, well, that's that's it. All right. Fair enough. This is just a train wreck. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I should be playing better, but I'm just not. Okay. Let's make some progress now. And by progress, I mean getting these optional treasure chests. One of them will be important, the other won't. This is probably a treasure chart or piece of heart. Ah, treasure chart. Okay. Cool. And then you're probably just going to be rupees. Oh, a skull necklace. You shouldn't have. Seriously, you, you, you really shouldn't have. I mean, that's... No. 
Okay, well then, um... I, I'd say that's enough padding. I'd say that's enough padding. Let's go ahead and just, uh, warp to Dragon Roost and get this over with. Why not? Alright. Oh, I forgot. This is a mini game. All right, just just a little more padding. Let, let's do this. Match the C on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy, simple. Okay. Yeah. Let, let Let's go ahead and do this. Before time runs out, you have to sort at least ten letters. Give it your best shot. Wow, they giving me thirty seconds for this. Okay. Simple stuff. Especially when they do that. Okay, and then, and then that, and then that, and then that, and I guess I can go diagonal too, I just, I don't know, I just get self-conscious about my accuracy. Okay, 21 letters, you pass. Okay, you got one rupee for every two letters, that come a grand total of 10 rupees. What? Uh, oh, oh okay, never mind. All right, so is there a second level to this game? 20 or more, you'll see some nice financial gain. Okay. requires total concentration. Okay, 26, one rupee per letter, 26 rupees. The higher your salary will become, that's economics. I don't think that's how economics works, but whatever. Okay, 25 letters or more. All right, let, let's do this. We just did it. Fuck. Okay, wow, I am choking. Why am I choking? Uh, this is gonna take me another attempt, so cutting ahead until I succeed. Oh my god, I'm choking. Wow, okay. There we go. Even though I screwed up a few times, I got 27. With amazing coordination. So, seriously, I'm stupefied and credulous. We veterans do this all day long, and even we have a hard time reaching that amount. I've got to give you more money. Got to. Three rupees per letter comes to 81 rupees. How's that sound? Hey, your name wouldn't have to be Link, would it? It is, isn't it? Mm hmm. I thought you looked like the lad the chieftain was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull off something like this. I've heard about you. Yes, I sure have. You've had a rough time. Link, I feel bad for making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helper's just arrived. Maybe you can give him some advice the next time you come by. That's it? You don't give me anything else? You suck! Man, I, uh, I wasted my time and everything. Ah. Uh. Also, what's on that C chart? I don't even care. Okay, uh, oh, I was about to say, do I actually have to change the wind direction? But no, I can just use this. So yeah, a descendant of the Zoras with a harp. Who else but Medley? What's up here, by the way? There is absolutely nothing over here. I can drop down and get that 20 rupee, but why would I even wish to do that? Alright, let's actually get something done. Oh, Link, you're okay. You know, Prince Kamali's been asking me all about your adventures, Link. I can rest easy now that you've seen... Oh, now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. 
Chris Kamali's turned to a fine young adult, hasn't he? No, he, he's still a kid, but all right. Recently, he's even begun doing things on his own without my guidance. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, Link. Watching Chris Kamali grow up fills me with pride, but it makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound, hee <laughs> hee. Well, I'd better continue practicing that I can be useful around here, too. Performing music like this is the important duty of an attendant. And because this will be one of the last few times I can do this, let's take a picture of her for the Nintendo Gallery. Yeah, this should be good. All right. This is called one of Fate's tools. Prince Kamala's grandmother saw me carrying it one day and called out to me to stop. She'd see my fate in the curves of the instrument, you see. She eventually became my teacher, and that's how I became the attendant you see before you today. So now you understand why I need to hurry and prove my skills so that I may help the... Wait, what was that last word? The airy. Okay. Um. I, I guess I'm being stupid because I don't understand that word. I've... I really don't know what that means. Uh, hey, is that the Wind Waker? Wow. Link, will you conduct me? I wonder how I'll do. Yeah, whatever, shut up. All right, so why did I say shut up to you? I, I'm sorry, Metley. I like Metley. She's cool peoples. But yeah, we had to play that song for her. And now for an overly cheesy cutscene. All right, it was not that cheesy, but... Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, a serious song sounds so familiar, it's almost as if something I've forgotten is trying to be remembered. Oh, wait, here it comes. Slow motion, wow. It's the main theme! I have never seen a jam session with harps. But then again, I was just at MME, and I could have gone and seen the Harp Twins perform. I guess they they can have jam sessions with harps, but still. And there's the Triforce, of course, of course. Just now realizing how weird it is that they have beaks, but also mouths. Okay. Just now a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. There's something something that I must do. I guess the beak is just the nose. Uh, they're not fully evolved yet, I guess. Or maybe they're past the evolution point where they even need beaks. And now they're just cosmetic. Or right, whatever. Link, thanks to you, I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Link, please, you must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. Let's go now, quickly and quietly. Okay, damn, are you eloping or just going to the Earth Temple? Finally, I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant. W why? What, what does it matter? Eh, whatever. And now he's wondering where everyone went. Because he's like, wait a minute, I just saw Link and Medley over here. What's going on? Are they going somewhere without me? And, I mean, he can just fly after us, but whatever. We are now riding with Medley! And now we are about to scare the ever-living crap out of her by jumping in a tornado. All the way back to outset. I like how he's, she's just sitting there like all calm. 
you can take a picture of her too, like while she's in the boat. But I just figured, eh, might as well just take the picture while she's standing up, just to get it over and done with. And before I forget, I'm gonna say hi to my grandma, so I can get some uh, elixir soup, cause that's a very, very good idea. Also, I'm curious, because I remember Beetle was saying some crap about Tetra. Does he say anything about Mentley? Because he seems to know literally everything. Oh, no, okay, he doesn't say anything. Okay. Well, time to get this elixir soup, and then we're off. All right, now that that's taken care of and I have found some hearts to fully heal me, it's time to go on to the temple. I like how this is sort of like Link and Mentley just going on a date. But yeah, I ship Toon Link and Mentley because why, why not? Why not? Why do I always ship Link with like the most random obscure NPCs? Well, no, I did ship him with uh, Zelda in Skyward Sword, so I mean, you know, there's that. Though some might argue Link and Girahim in that game. And I would not call you incorrect, because Girahim was giving him the eyes every now and then. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I mean, but who could resist Girahim, you know, to be fair, because it's freaking Girahim. All right, Medley, listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The temple ahead is the nest of an evil creature, the same creature that stole the life of your predecessor, the sage. It is a dark and frightening place. That is why, if you do nothing else, then at least do this. If Link comes near you and presses ZR to call you, then be silent and follow closely behind him. And if Link presses A, allow him to lift you and, if need be, fly and carry him through the air. And Link. If Metley gets stuck and cannot continue in the temple, use the Wind Waker to conduct the song you learned in the Tower of the Gods. Do you understand? Serious business, yo. Link protect Metley and Metley protect Link. The power to repel evil shall surely be returned to the Master Sword. Alright. So let's go ahead and get this jam session out of the way. Okay. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong one. And there we go. We can now enter the Earth Temple proper. Yep, see? Earth Temple. Right there. The game even tells you it's the Earth Temple. Oh boy! And we shall start the Earth Temple for reals next time. But I, I like the Earth Temple. It's, it's a neat little place. It's also kind of scary. Because there are floor masters aplenty in here. Actually, there's floor masters aplenty in both temples. And then, oh yeah, we're going to be dealing with redeads in here too. I absolutely freaking hate the redeads in this game because they're just so utterly creepy. Do stealth folks appear in this temple? If so, they just look really freaking stupid. But yeah, alright, next time we're starting the Earth Temple. Thank you all for watching, have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I have no clue what I was doing there, I'm just... Wait. I wanna, I wanna replicate that, turning around without him moving his feet. No! Damn it, Link! 
Why must you not allow me to do my weird glitches? Come on. I know you can do it. Just believe, Link. Just believe in yourself. Uh, he's doing it a little. Or uh, whatever. Goodbye, everybody.